Everyone's waiting for Garrett. Now I gotta carry the weight of the world like Torterra shells. <laughs> she knew that the snake is on that switch. What's popping with you? It's your boy GE. Fresh out the Pokemon Cypher 2016. Chilling here on GE Gaming. Back with another episode of Random Bars. Last time we did random singles. This time we're doing random doubles because you know how we do it. This is episode two. So we got to bring twice the mons, twice the bars, twice everything. We're battling uh, that one nerd, 23. He really wants to be Jumpman so hard. He had to put the 23 after his name because that one nerd was already taken. We're gonna roast you today, that one nerd coming with Gengar and Sticky Web Mini Dude chilling on my screen right now. Do you know the power that you're looking at? You're looking at a Lola Radicate. I'm about to freaking go dark type on you, hit you with the crunch, stab, all of that. I need to calm down. All right, I'm gonna go for a uh, tailwind here. And uh, let's see, we got Sigilyph, Magigar Life Orb. That's pretty powerful. Pachirisu, everyone loves Sejin Park. Charizard Y. Oh my god, so if I get this Tailwind off successfully, I'm just gonna power through him with our freaking Life Orb Keldeo and our Charizard Y. Uh, as far as Raticate goes, oh my god, no! That one nerd, I was about to destroy you! Come on, man, I'm tired of this. Ugh. Oh my god, we got an even better team this time. Mawile, are you kidding me? Catch these Intimidates. Of course he has the counter though. And why is this Nino King shiny? What did he do to deserve this? Come on, Jafugit. Why 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 do I always get the weirdos? What is this dude's name? JFGYT? You're gonna get this freaking work today, boy. Catch this muddy water. Catch this uh should I mega evolve? I'm not gonna mega evolve yet. Because the intimidate might be useful later. He's gonna light screen up, earth power right into the protect. Get predicted. Catch all this damage, you're so lucky. <laughs> Alright, I'm a, I'm a Muddy Water again and we'll go into Politoed to boost the power of the Muddy Water this time. Like I said, I'm not going to Mega Evolve them all while just yet because we don't want to. I mean, it's a very useful ability, so we switch them out, we bring them back in later, we can get an Intimidate off on someone. So we're burning some turns on the light screen here, I like it. Earth Power going to be a 2 hit KO there, but it doesn't matter because we're taking that Needle King out. Get out of my face, you ain't a king. He got Aromatisse in here. Uh, I'm very worried about the potential Trick Room, and there's not a lot that we can do because he's behind the light screen. I'm going to Scald into him, and uh, I guess I could Hypnosis. That's an option, or I could just double into I'm going to double into him. Screw it. Psychic doing no damage. Hydro Pump critting. That's how we do this. Oh, my God. He's still going to live. Jesus. Okay, it's fine though. He's not Trick Room. That thing is fat, bro. What level is that? 83? I guess that explains it. Go away. Of course he forfeit. Javigit. I'm tired of all these forfeits. Can I get a real opponent? Please? Of course. I bet this guy's going to play me all the way through too. And we have a garbage team. Unless this Mammal Swine stashed. Lefty's Mammal Swine? Who runs Lefty's Mammal Swine? And why am I trapped in with a normal type and an ice type against a gigantic fighting type? This isn't fair. Who, who is this dude? Let me see this. Omarius668. Mm, Omarius668. You, you gonna be minus 2666 getting this triple Charizard flames today, boy. Alright, here we go. Let me let me see what I want to do here. Uh, why you give me an Amber Pump with no fake out? This is the worst. Ah. Okay, okay, I got this, uh, 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 um, mm -hmm, uh, -huh, uh, let me see my team. I can't even look at my team. I don't even know my team because I'm tra- This is- <laughs> I can't even see my own team. What? What universe is this? Fine, I'm gonna assume I have a switch in and I'll U-turn. Okay, here we go. Okay, we got Mammal Swine, Palkia. Okay, I'm definitely U-turning to the Palkia. Screw it. it why is everyone forfeiting? tired of this oh my god i'm just trying to find one bat you know what i'm gonna if, if this one doesn't go i'm gonna i'm gonna roast all four of these dudes for forfeiting that's what we're gonna do all right we're battling uh time I <laughs> i'm not even gonna say the words Xerneas. this is just getting worse and worse i swear if this dude has freaking power herb geomancy Xerneas, rebellious rebel Re wait hold up hold up this dude's name is rebellious rebel think about that that's some that's some heat he's bringing there. <laughs> All right, um, I'm gonna earthquake. Seems like a good play, and uh, we go ahead and thunderbolt into this toxic croak. Psych. I'm gonna earthquake, and you know what? We're gonna tailwind up. Of course he has fake out. 
Fake out's the one of the best moves in all of doubles. And I didn't get it on the fake out Pokemon Ambipom, but he gets it on this freaking Toxic Croak. Thank you, Smogun. Thank you, so, or uh, uh, Pokemon Showdown. Interchangeable, to be honest. Going into Sceptile. I wonder if my Golem's gonna get hurt this turn. Idiot. Catch this Protect. <laughs> Why am I so mean today? Alright, uh. We're gonna. Let's see. Is Xerneas fast? <laughs> Xerneas went for Rock Slide. I just realized that. He's gonna take out my Zapdos for sure. Actually, if he gets a low roll, we might live this. So we'll go for a Tailwind. This is a really bad play. Don't. Never protect and then just die. That's, that's always bad. But, uh, Tailwind. Wait. We move first? Oh, yeah, because he faked us out. That's why I didn't know. So, see, everything works out in the end. You don't even have to think about moves, to be honest, in Pokemon. Just do what you feel like doing, and it always works out if you're the better trainer. <laughs> Let's go into X Cavalier. I like that. Do we have Iron Head? Yes, we do. Easiest Swords Dance of my life. Now, you're wondering, GG, why don't you just hit him with a stab? It'll take the Xerneas out, or you can hurt the Sceptile. Probably take the Sceptile out, too. He's very frail. Because that's not, like, that, that's not next level plays. And we're all about next level plays here on GE Gaming. So catch this Fire Punch, you know, just to weaken him a little bit. And we're going to Swords Dance in his face. He thinks he's nice because he double protected. But guess what? You just got played. Boy, <laughs> get this plus two. And we got two turns of Tailwind too. Oh my lord. He's about to learn today. Okay, what do we what do we want to do here? His Xerneas is physical. So you know what? I'm not worried about the Xerneas. I'm just going to Mega Horn into this threatening Sceptile. He still outspeeds? He's still... Both of them still outspeed. I mean, I shouldn't be surprised. These dudes are so slow. I don't even know why I didn't think of that as a possibility. But oh my god, thank god we had that Aka Berry. Get played on, kiddo. That's four mediocre battles. But I mean, it was... Seven minutes long. I, I'll find enough to bar these fools to death. I'm hopping in the booth. GG. Man. I don't even know why I play this game anymore. It's too easy. Four four fits. That's really unfortunate. Four four fits. The dude is so focused. Four four fits. It's 44. Hopeless. My balls fall fast when I force four four fits. Four four fits. That's really unfortunate. Wow. 